And we're going to welcome to the big picture Tom and Tina McGuire, who's been married for 57 years. Wow. That's, uh, God bless you. <laughs> and in honor of uh, St. Valentine's weekend, uh, we thought we'd uh, talk to you a little bit about the nature of being together for 57 years. You guys met at a party, or did you, no, you met at work, right? At work, right. Well, okay. How did, uh, how did that happen? What, what kind of work were you doing? Okay, I was in a very specialized company. I was in an insurance company that was owned by the lumber industry and only wrote lumber yards and anything that had lumber as a major product. I was covering most of western New York. Now, she wasn't a lumberjack, right? No, no. most. <laughs> okay, no all right. Most. But um, there was a company in Cortland, New York that was one of my biggest customers called Gutchess Lumber Company. They were a big, right from the tree to the customer, lumber producer, sawmill, planing mills, everything. And Tina was their office manager at their main office in Cortland. And I called, must have been several years, wasn't it? Probably we said hello and got along fine and everything. And while I was waiting to see Mr. Gutchess, and then one day, I'm not sure exactly why, I, I guess we had been talking and realized we were both single. And I said, what are you doing for lunch? And that was a start. <laughs> <laughs> now, 57 years later, here we are. Wow. Dina, what did you think of him when he asked you out, were you? I think mostly because uh, my boss was in Florida. Huh? and. Uh, I couldn't interview anybody but me because I was there, and he asked me out, and there was a lot of lot of if and buts or ors in order to get this because I still had all the afternoon chores to do, and um, then we went out for lunch, and he wanted to take me to an excellent place, and I said sorry I don't have time, we have to go to this little ice cream store, and we're going to have. Uh, peanut butter, toast, and tea. I have to get back to the office with the mail. <laughs> so I think he thought I was playing hard to get. No, I was busy. My f boss was in Florida, and I had a lot to do. You were just setting the tone right from the beginning there. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I uh, wasn't right. very serious. <laughs> well, I couldn't take him very seriously. I hardly knew him at all. Now, you lived in Cortland. Did you live in Buffalo? No. He lived in Boston. Okay, so Tina, here's this guy who's driving all this distance to come down and see you. What did you think? Are you serious? I think just coming into the office to talk to our the owner and just renew the insurance. I didn't even, I don't think I really saw him the first two times he came, honestly. And because they were busy talking to each other and talking about the mill and all that stuff. So... No, he didn't drive down to see me particularly. He was doing his job to, you know. But after you started dating, he was well, coming down to see that, you. then that was fast. <laughs> because 23 days later, after our first lunch, we got married. What? 23 days? 23, 23 days. days. Yes. Whoa. Wow. I think everybody should get to know each other a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> But today, so many people are just moving in and then moving out a week later or a year later. So I think we did the best thing, yeah. you know. Well, now, after 23 days, how well did you know each other? Well yeah. enough. <laughs> uh, I think so. Well, we were getting along just great. Yes. Or it wouldn't have happened. And um, I just said, when you're great, that, hey, we might as well get married. <laughs> Actually, were, there, were there a lot actually, of surprises no. after this? Tina's Lebanese. No, 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 no. I love Lebanese cooking. No, no, no. Her mother, her no. mother was a great Lebanese cook, and she, there were six girls. Five of them took after their mother and learned to cook Lebanese cooking. One wasn't interested at all. Guess which one I picked. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't marry you for your cooking then? That, no, that's, no, no, it wasn't. No, no. no. Thank God. I have a question. After 
57 years of marriage, you, you figured this out along the way. What would you give, what advice would you give to a young couple just about well, to get married? Well, just don't, don't move in with somebody, please. And please get to know them better mm -hmm. and uh, like them and have things in common. I thought, well, we're, we're both Catholics, and there's, he's nice looking, and he likes lumber, and I like lumber. Yeah. I thought that was a start. But then uh, our, my family liked it right away, and we had we had an idea that he might be stationed or work out of Syracuse. But it turned out they sent him out here. So a year after we were married, we moved out here. Mm. And we left my big family. My family are Pharisees, and we have a very beautiful young Ferris lady on television on Fox. Her name is Janine Ferris Pirro. This is a cousin of mine. And I keep telling Tom about that, how beautiful she is. And that doesn't persuade him to watch the channel very much. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I have to say this much. We disagree well, on a wrong. lot of things, a lot of things. He likes the Patriots, and I like <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. And now, that's, get, a, that's okay, a big difference that's right it, there. That's it. How and do you navigate soon, the differences, though? Like, when you have differences, in, oh, yes. uh, what do you do? How do you get through it? How do you? Well, we just, well, I just stick to my guns, and he does, too. He <laughs> thinks Tom Brady's the end and all that sort of stuff. But there are other things that I like that I didn't know how to do before I married Tom. I was 36 years old, by the way. And I learned how to ski and how to sail. Well, a um, big part of our life was sailing. And sailing. Sailing was very important mm -hmm. to us. A big, big part of my life outside of my business was, was sailing. Yeah. And um, I think that helped us a lot through these. We both enjoyed it. Not, not just the sailing, but the, uh, we belonged to an excellent club and uh, spent a lot of time, made a lot of friends there. And mm -hmm. I think that had a lot to do with, with the happiness that we had for many years. What was the most difficult thing that you had to overcome in all those years? I'd say illness, mm -hmm. but mostly on my part. I got, I got very sick about 20 years ago, and I think that was, was really, really hard on Tina. I was in the hospital for a long time, and I was a long time recuperating. I think, I think that was the hardest thing, at least from, from my viewpoint, looking at what she had to put up with. Well, mine was the missing of my family because it's a huge family. And my mother had 11 children, and um, still my brothers and sisters are very precious to me. I'm 94 years old, too, by the way. And so um, I think it's my family that we didn't get down there that often. But we went there for the holidays. Christmas, Easter, you know, and birthdays and stuff like that. I would have liked to have gone home every month once. It was said, Tom, that's only 12 times a year. <laughs> I said, well, we got to ski or we got to go boating. And I said, okay, okay. But they would come out and they came and lived with us too while they were going to college or while they were starting to be a doctor or I think Wayne was zone sergeant. But they stayed at our house. Well, that was that was nice. Another thing I think for a couple, if you can get along with the families of your partner, that's a, that's a big plus. And that was a big plus with us. I mean, <clears throat> her family from day one made me feel like I was part of them. And um, mm -hmm. like her brother-in-law Wayne, God bless him, he's gone now, he and I were Closer than I was to any of my real brothers, because they were all in Massachusetts. And last question. Um, we just talked to an expert who talks about uh, how things evolve. And she said that uh, people get attracted, and it's almost like a drug. You know, you really have this attraction to each other at the beginning. And that lasts 
under the best of circumstances, between six months and maybe three years, and then that kind of goes away a little bit in, mm. for everybody. Yes. And then it evolves into a better place, a, a, a different kind of relationship. Definitely. How does it, how did it evolve for you guys? What, how did the feelings kind of evolve over the years? Kind of hard to say. I think eventually you just find that more than anything else, when you get past that, call it the lovey-dovey period, I think if you learn to respect each other and also depend on each other, that has an awful lot to do with, with uh, consummating a real solid, long-lasting relationship. Uh, when a woman, a woman from our uh, St. John Marin's Church came and asked me the same question, I said, well, first thing in the morning, have that fight and then get out and get, <laughs> get at your business. And if, the, if you're quarreling, make them stand toe-to-toe -to -toe for a half an hour <laughs> and it'll cure them. He said, I'll tell them the first thing first. <laughs> get that fight over in the morning, get out, come back and do what you have to do. Thank and you very that, much for being with us, Tom and Tina McGuire. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Well, it certainly has been a pleasure, a pleasure talking to you.